I'm here at the Marlika Art Gym, and they have just opened the exhibit for Czech, featuring our local artists. These are young artists from Lipa City. So let's go check out their work and be amazed at the hard work and creativity that they put into it. Let's go and take a look. So what do you call this type of oil? Style? Oil pasta. Yes, oil pasta. Ah. Everything still here light. is ah? still light. Ah, still light. Ah. Everything is oil pasta. Yeah. So that's your really special. <laughs> I'm not sick anymore. 
Now she had fever last night, even this morning we had fever. Now she's okay. Uh, she's promised that she will keep the, uh, the speech for less than three hours. So she's okay. She can sit down, sleep, take a nap, fine. Uh, it's our 21st year and it's been an amazing ride. Uh, we've been exhibiting in DC uh, City, we've been uh, in the City Hall. Now we're here. In the Docs Candles factory, so later you will all be making candles. So, so I'll give the floor and unbelievable, great work, thank you. Artists, parents, guests, friends, neighbors, family. Welcome to the Art Change. It's our first exhibit using the Art Change. My three most important lessons for my students, both young and old, are number one, never be afraid Never be afraid to start something. Most of the time, people cannot do their uh, start their dreams because they're so afraid. They're afraid of making mistakes. They're afraid of the first stroke in their canvas. They're afraid of the first line in their paper. And that's the first thing. And I over and over again, I reiterate, never be afraid, never, because you will never accomplish anything great if you are always afraid. And I think, as I repeat it over and over and over again, I think they get it. Because as you, you can see, their works are amazing. Don't you agree? Yes. yes. They're all amazing. Their words are really, you, know, you, you cannot believe that they have just started with pastel painting. You, 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 you can never tell that those paintings were made by beginners. And that is because they started. They were not afraid to start their artwork. Number two, once you have started your work, you have to do it with passion. You have to do it with all your heart. I think you give everything because the product of your work will stay there forever and people even 100 years from now, if your painting still exists, they will say, oh, who, who made this painting? Wow, he must be a great guy. That's why whenever we see, they're all gone, but they have left their works behind. So I always tell all the artists, the students here, that you have to give everything and make sure that if your work is seen 100 years from now, they would say, wow.
He did the Casa Segunda? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Beautiful. Look at this one, the Aryan, the girl here. It's very bandeau. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bandeau and inspired. inspired. I think she will love it. Yeah, marami ako kano. Kasi usually they start uh, 11, 12. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Kirsten Singh. <laughs> oh, so how do you feel about your successful event today? How was it? I am elated. This is such a great event and as you can see all the works are really something to look at. So come and visit us anytime from now to August 25. See you at the art gym. Bye bye. <laughs>